There are two ways of changing nozzles on the sprayer, so we can do that by clicking on the shortcut way by pressing one of the nozzle symbols on this display here. This takes us through to the sprayer setup page, so we can scroll down on this screen here. We can then see what nozzles we've got in each of the lines of the sprayer. On a housing sprayer we can have up to four lines at any one time, so we can see the quad bodies here. So if you are changing a nozzle, you can click on the box and then you can click on one of the drop down nozzles here. These obviously all recommend to the ISO stated ones in here, so we can see all the setups for the nozzles here. You can go in and change obviously your litres per minute and what bar that is actually spraying out at as well. So you can change that information on the display. The other way of getting through to that page, so you can press spanner, you can then press user setup and spray setup. From this page, if we just scroll down on here, we can also see that we can get to the spray line control setup. If you want to activate a different line as well, you can also use the cross and tick arrows here, so obviously select which line you would like to spray, select it and it will then bring up a tick by the side of it. Once you're happy with that, if we just click back to the nozzle page, we can see the, obviously the active ones in here. There is a colour that notifies which nozzle you're spraying on at the currently, so you can see that in there. Likewise, you can also select by turning on and off lines in here, so you can see it goes to a red circle, or it goes to a, blue arrow, a green arrow, so you can see which line is spraying.